Hey YouTube, Engineer Boy 100 here. And today I have a product that I don't ordinarily cover. Um, usually I'm doing repair or maintenance or fixing something. But today I'm covering a paint protection product called Diamond Bright. Diamond Bright, spoiler alert, for me has been absolutely awesome. It consists of a part one pre-glaze and a part two glaze. This product has worked for me personally fantastically. I can't believe how good it worked for the price. It was like $7. It's uh, made over in the UK, so it's not really, from what I could find, it's not readily available in the United States. But I ordered some, I'm in the United States. I ordered some and had it shipped over and I tried it out. <coughs> Prep for using the material is simply Shake well. Shake well and it's ready to go. Simple as that. Application is very, very easy. It goes on very easy and is as simple as one, two, three. One, wash your vehicle. For myself, I didn't go to the extent of claying it and cleaning the pores out really, really good, but I did do a really good thorough hand washing. And then for the drying, I washed it early in the morning I let the car sit all day and overnight on a nice sunny day all day and overnight. So when I went to do the application, I didn't get water drips. I wanted all the water to have time to evaporate out of the nooks and crannies. So as I went across the, the panels, I didn't get water dripping out of different places onto my surface. So stage one, the pre-glaze. The way you apply it is you shake it up really well. And then you get like a microcloth, that's what I use. You want to use two separate microcloths too, like a blue and a green or two separate colors so you don't mix the two, uh, the two stage one and stage two. For stage one, you put it on, you cover a panel at a time so that you're not you know, losing track of where you are, and you leave it on. You never take it off. You leave it, you don't put it on and then buff it off. You put stage one on, you leave it on for 10 minutes, let it haze over. So the pre-glaze seals the pores of the paint and it, and it adds as a, um, a way for stage two to adhere better. So you leave that on. Then once you're 10 minutes, it's glazed over. Then you take stage two and you put it on directly on top of stage one. Okay, you let it sit for like 10 minutes glaze over and then you buff that off and it buffs off very easily it's not i did it all by hand i didn't even use a buffer i did it all by hand and it was easy so i'm going to demonstrate that i'm going to show you how it goes on both stages i'll redo the same vehicle on uh, one panel on the same vehicle so you can see how it goes on but before i do that the vehicle that we're going to be demonstrating on today has already been treated i treated it like I can't remember how long ago. It's been a few months, so I don't want to say exactly how long because I announced on, on, on Facebook that I was going to do it and somebody will go look up that date and say, no, you were four days off. But it's been a few months, like five or six months, okay? So five or six months and 10 car washes. I've been washing the car since I first applied uh, the Diamond Bright, and Diamond Bright is, is, is spelled Diamond B-R-I-T-E, not B-R-I-G-H-C, it's Diamond Bright, in one word, it's what it is. And um, it's been about five or six months, and 10 car washes, and it still works great. Now, my point to that is, I've let the car set now for about five or six drives. Okay, I usually wash my car after every drive or every other drive. I never let it get dirty. But I let it get dirty for this demonstration. So it's been like five or six drives. There's dirt on it. The only way I wash the car now is with water. I just get my pressure washer, spray it off, and it's as smooth as glass. I'll give you a demonstration of how smooth it is. I'll get a reg another car whose paint has not been treated, and we'll do a, like a little rub test with... Uh, I'll probably use a, what do you call those things? <clears throat> a Q-tip, a little cotton Q-tip, 
and I put the camera close to it, and you can hear how rough that paint is. Then we'll go over to the Diamond Bright side, and we'll rub, and it's really, really smooth. And like you, you can see me putting on the pressure, the same amount of pressure as the Q-tip bends. And I'll also clean it with the water, then I'll come back with a white, a clean white napkin, so you can see that it's actually clean. It's not like just clean for the camera. It's truly clean. Then I'll, I'll, I'll spray out the whole car, I'll clean it, dry it off, and then I'll bring the camera back so you can see how shiny it is. And it hasn't been treated for six months. And for seven dollars, if it, if it didn't do any longer, that's great. For me, that's great. And it shows no sign of fading. So, Diamond Bright for seven bucks. And I don't sell this. I don't have any for sale. I don't drop ship it. And I'm not affiliated with Diamond Bright in any way. So I can say exactly what I want and show exactly how I want. But this is Engineer Board 100 doing a review. So now we're going to pull the car out. I'm going to show you the dirty section and we're going to clean it on camera. And I'm going to show you how well the surface, how good the surface looks after cleaning with nothing but water. No soap, no wax, nothing. Just clear tap water. And, uh, and then we'll see how, how the surface comes, turns out. Thanks. See you at the car. <coughs> Bye. Okay, here's our subject for the day of who's going to be getting the Diamond Bright treatment. And the Diamond Bright is so, uh, works so well. If you look at the car, you can actually see the shine through all the dirt. It's filthy and it still shines. Now let's get a little bit closer and I'll show you just how dirty it is. So if you look at this panel here, it is filthy. If I do like that, you can actually see it is absolutely filthy. So I'm going to go across this with, um, with our little sprayer here. I have a power washer here. I'm going to take the power washer. I'm going to clean a section. I'm going to clean this back section right here and let you watch this clean it. And then I'll go over it with a white or maybe a blue paper towel and uh, the paper towel will remain clean and you know that this is really really dirty so let me set up the camera and I'll clean this section okay I'm gonna zoom that in so when I'm cleaning you can actually see the dirt coming off in the section that's clean do about like we really want to get it close so we can see the dirt coming off I like so I guess all right so let's, do, let's clean it up Okay, so as you can see, let me get in here. I left part of it dirty, and we just cleaned this section right here. Okay, so if I go here, clean cloth. Cloth is still clean. And you know that was filthy. That was just water. And you can see the difference. Here is, is still dirty, here is clean. Dirty, clean. And around the back, it's still filthy. And you can see the difference between here, where the water hit, and here. And that's all I have to do to clean it, is just spray it off with water, and then it's polished. Now, I'll finish cleaning the car up. I'll let you see how, how good it looks when it's completely cleaned. And then I'll just dry it off, and that's it. I don't have to wax it or anything. It looks really, really good. And then I'll show you how to apply Diamond Bright. Just gonna finish cleaning her up.
okay it's all washed and dried and now you can see what the diamond bright, bright finish looks like Absolutely gorgeous. You did such a great job and it's so easy to clean, to dry and polish off. So I'm gonna show you how smooth this sur this surface is. I'm gonna compare it to this vehicle here next to us, the BMW, which has not been treated. This front fender here has not been treated and this strip fender here has been treated so listen to what this this little uh, q-tip sounds like if you can pick that up now let's go over here it's not anywhere near as smooth this surface, same pressure. And the untreated surface, even less pressure, really. Diamond right really leaves a nice, nice, smooth, sealed surface. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the Diamond Bright. And I'm going to refinish this panel, which has already been done, but I'm just going to do it again to show you how easy it is to do and exactly how to do it. Okay, so here's the part one and part two, uh, stage one and stage two of the Diamond Bright. So we're going to do the application with of the stage one with this gray towel. It's, probably, it's really important to use different colored towels so you don't get the two mixed up. Then we're going to wait 10 minutes and apply stage two. With this red towel here we're going to wait 10 more minutes until it or until it's nicely glazed over and then we're going to remove it with this white towel that's how we keep everything straight so let's go ahead and head over to the panel and you'll be able to tell what i'm doing by what rag i am using okay so here's stage one before you start you want to shake it up really good so shake it about like so i'm going to use this gray towel and it doesn't take much, a little bit goes a long way. I've got like half of this um, this uh, substance still in the bottle and I've already done this entire vehicle, okay? So you just put a little on, like so, get a little bit on your, on your rag like that, and you just start at one end and work your way to the other. And it goes on really smooth and easy. You might notice I have like a clear bra on here, so. I don't think it really does anything to that, but I'm just doing the whole surface. So you just put a little on, and you can feel it going on nice and smooth, and you can see it. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but when you're doing it, it feels really slippery, and you want to always apply it in straight lines, not swirl. Don't swirl it. They say put it on in straight lines with the line of the panel. I mean, and it just goes on real quick and easy. It's so slippery. It's like really slick. And it just goes on like so. And it's like, just like that, I'm done with this panel. I mean, I'm done. So the other piece is, you might want to wear some eye protection and or nose protection. There's a slight odor to it. And here we got an airplane or a, a helicopter. Right in the middle of my video, a nice helicopter. Sorry about that. I could redo it, but I'm not going to. Um, so you just apply it, like I said, in straight lines with the panel, just like so, okay? And just let it glaze over. It takes, I mean, it takes less than 10 minutes. It takes like five minutes or less to glaze over. So once it's glazed, you leave it on. You don't, you don't rub this one off. You leave it on, let it adhere to the paint, let it seal the pores of the paint, and then once it's glazed, you apply stage two. 
All right, stage two has, uh, I mean, stage one has glazed over nicely. So we got stage two now, diamond bright. And prep for this is just like stage one. Give it a good shake. I want you to shake it well before use. And uh, application is the same as well. You just put a little on your rag and you want to rub in straight lines in the direction of the panel. So this one is looks a little more milkier, so that if that'll help you remember uh, you know which one you're using because stage two stage one is kind of clear. So this is gonna be applied in the same manner, just like so, in straight lines, and it's real slippery too, just like stage one. But you want to keep it nice and straight so you don't streak and swirl, but it kind of really adheres and it'll leave a... But the really nice thing about this, unlike some of the other glass treatments, is, is you don't have to worry about not getting air in the bottle and the glass solidifying in the bottle and all that because it's not really a true glass. I have some other stuff that I'm going to do in another vehicle. It's like $100 for that one though. And, it, and it's a glass. You got to really be careful not to not to uh, get air in the bottle or it'll solidify and turn into glass in the bottle. So this is really nice because it's easy to apply. You don't have to worry about it. I can get air in the bottle just fine and nothing happens. And it goes on real easy and it looks really nice and it does a great job. And I highly recommend it. Well, I've been very happy with the performance and it may not be the 100% best but it works really really good so there you go that's how quick and easy it is to do a panel this panel is done with second stage I'll wait 10 minutes and buff it off and give you a look at it okay it's been about 10 minutes um, stage 2 is nicely glazed over I don't know if you can tell but if you look at the door, how it's kind of overlapped a little bit onto the door. And this is all glazed over. And I'm going to buff that off. Because it's kind of cloudy. You can see my shadow. It's kind of fuzzy and hazy. So we're going to go ahead and buff that off now. And I'll let you watch. And this is how hard it is to buff. You just rub. You don't even have to rub hard. Just nice and easy. Just rub it like so. And it's almost kind of like you're just dusting it off. Let's do half of it and let you look at the difference. You can see here the reflection here versus how hazy it is over here. And it clears up really nice. So you just rub it off like so. You don't have to rub hard. You just kind of dust it off and it really cleans up nice. You have some condensate there. And we'll go back the other way. So you can get a look at the lighting both ways. And, uh, and that's it. This is a done deal. You can see that this panel has shined up really nice. We'll get back a bit so you can see it. And that is what Diamond Bright leaves your car looking like. And the whole car is done. The rest is old. Been done for six months ago, but it looks just as good as this panel I just did. You can see how the light reflects off of it. And it was, I was so happy with it. That's why I'm doing this video. I don't ordinarily do videos on uh, external car care products like this. But it's really impressive. And it's, the only downside is it's not readily available in the U.S. You have to order it. I actually got mine on eBay. You had to order it from the U.K. But uh, that's what it looks like. And I hope you guys don't mind me doing a shameless lightsaber plug here. But if you have cracked tail light mount flanges... Go to renfix.com, R-E-N-N-F-I-X.com, and look up lightsabers 
for your tail light for a permanent fix for those cracked mount flange locations. So just look at this finish. Isn't that beautiful? I mean I just like looking at the car whether it's waxed or not. But one thing for sure, for me anyway, Diamond Bright works great. Thanks for watching.